everyone, I'm Amy Wan Sion. I'm now in Sabong Air Base. I'm going to bring you through what it's like to be an Air Force engineer of the AH-64. As a ground crew, my responsibility is to generate and maintain the aircraft for daily needs. For aircraft servicing, we have 14 main areas to check. Some of the checks include the avionic bay, the flyaway kit, as well as the main landing wheel. Another important part of the aircraft to check is the main and the tail rotor blade. They are the reason helicopters are able to generate lift and fly. It is one of the most challenging checks. I will have to climb to the top of the aircraft and maintain a three-point contact to prevent from falling. Definitely one of the highlights of being an Air Force engineer of the H-64 is that I get to see and touch the aircraft every day as part of my job. The satisfaction of seeing the aircraft that my colleagues and I maintain flying high and well, especially during events like the air show, is something very memorable. So now that the AH-64 is ready, let's hand it over to Captain Edwin. Hi everyone, I'm Captain Edwin, call sign Stunner. I'm the AH-64 pilot for Singapore Air Show 2022. Being an Apache pilot is very special as it is the only attack helicopter in the RSAF. In this year's aerial display, the AH-64 will be performing more than 10 manoeuvres, out of which we can see the tail sweep, which allows the aircraft to quickly reposition herself 180 degrees back towards her rear. We also get to see the Viking, where the aircraft will position herself rapidly from a rearward flight into a no-slow profile to quickly attack her adversaries. The AH-64 is the first and only tandem seat helicopter in the RSAF. The pilot seated in the rear is responsible for flying the aircraft, while the pilot in front is responsible for weapons employment. And they work together to achieve mission success in all their missions. To complement our tandem seating, our helmets are equipped with IR sensors that will allow the front seat pilot to see what the back seat pilot is looking at. This system will also allow our front seat pilot to queue our weapon systems as quickly as possible to engage the target. One of the most challenging maneuvers for this year's air show is the Twin Peaks as it requires precise control of our aircraft energy state as well as perfect synchronization in the maneuver. We mental fly our sorties constantly and build crew coordination as everything happens very quickly up in the air. The most challenging part of every air show is the conceptualizing of the maneuvers and stitching them together in order to showcase the maneuverability and agility of the AH-64. This year, it will be my first time doing the air show and we are showcasing not only single aircraft maneuvers but coordinated maneuvers as well. Now that you know everything about the AH-64, do you know what it takes for the F-16 to fly? Let's find out! Hi everyone, I'm ME2 Ko Wen Jie. We are right here now in Tengah Air Base and let me show you what it takes to be a frontline crew of the F-16 aircraft. As a frontline crew, we are responsible for the daily launch and recovery servicing to ensure the airworthiness of the aircraft for the pilots to carry out their mission safely. Some of the necessary checks include checking of the pit tube field, to ensure it's free of debris. This is important as it measures the speed and gives input to the pilot in the cockpit when flying. Not only that, we have to check the general condition of the whole aircraft, such as the cockpit areas and the undercarriage areas, as these areas are more prone to foreign debris. One of the maneuvers that the pilots will be performing is to release the flares, and after each flight, we have to check the areas around the flares to ensure that there is no damages to prevent any implication for the next flight. As an AFE, we have to stay focused at all times to ensure every aspect of the aircraft is airworthy. So now that the F-16 is ready, let's hand it over to Captain Wei Yang. Hi guys, I'm Captain Wei Yang. I go by the callsign Race, and I'm the F-16 display pilot for this year's Singapore Air Show 2022. Being an F-16 pilot is actually an exciting experience for me. We actually fly in different weather conditions. We have different mission scenarios where it would require us to put in our mission preparation and sometimes also think on the spot while we are flying. In this year's aero display, some of the maneuvers include the high G turn, where the air crew will perform up to seven to eight times the force of gravity, and also for the finale, where you can expect to see sort of the mini fireworks. One of the unique features of the F-16 is actually its engine. The F-16 is a single-engine aircraft that is capable of producing approximately 29,000 pounds of thrust. That enables us to fly faster than two times the speed of sound. One other unique feature about the F-16 is actually the bubble canopy. Unlike other fighter aircraft, the F-16 has a bubble canopy that doesn't have a bracing that enables the aircrew to have an unobstructed field of view when we are flying. 
The most challenging maneuver for me personally would be the four-point row, where every row needs to be exactly 90 degrees in order to look good for the show. This is actually my first time participating in the air show. Our training actually started in December last year. We fly approximately about three to four times a week, comprises of simulator and actual flight uh, to ensure that we train up to speed for this year air show. Hi everyone, welcome to Sudong Island. I'm ME3, Vijayan Prakash. And I'm ME2, Marcus. And we are the commentators of the Singapore Air Show 2022. As a commentator, we have to draft out our own script. We also have to choose a music to go along with the aerial display. We bring life to the show and we add an element of entertainment. From the RSAF's 120 Squadron, opening the show with a cross dagger. Having a knowledge of the aircraft and the pilots will help us craft a better introduction to the maneuvers. The lead-in is one of the most important parts of the script. You see this in boxing matches and MMA matches as well, right? You see the announcer gives a really bombastic introduction. So that kind of hypes up the uh, the audience. They're more excited for what's coming on. So the same applies to the air show. Keep a look out to your front. Here comes the quadruple row. It's very important to bring the focus and attention of the audience to the entry points of where the aircrafts are actually coming in so that they have a good view of the show. Well, Vijay, I'm feeling pretty excited for this year's air show, even though this is my second time as a commentator. For me, this is my first time. And the fun fact about this is I'm the first AH-64D uh, Air Force engineer to be part of an aerial display team. My team of commentators really grew my voice and gave me a lot of good advice. All right, when you hear this captivating voice the next time, please look up into the skies and give our pilots a big salute as they fly by. Well, I hope you guys have a better understanding of what goes on behind the scenes into preparing for an aerial display for the Singapore Air Show 2022. Bye! Bye.